Hello, friends, family, world. Luke here with another video. For those of you unfamiliar with our channel, my husband Tyler and I make weekly travel videos documenting our experiences since moving from North America to the UK. For a few months, we've lived in the southeastern part of England in the county of Kent. And today I wanted to highlight some of the major places we enjoyed driving and visiting along the Kentish coast. We did all of these things over the course of one weekend, but some people, depending on their travel style, may decide to do some of these things at a bit of a slower pace and break it up a bit. We rented a car and started our route from Maidstone. We made a brief stop at the Elmsley Nature Reserve on the Isle of Sheppey. If you are someone who enjoys birding, this is apparently a nice place to do it. The first major stop that we made was to the seaside town of Whitstable. We had a great time in the morning exploring the Whitstable Harbor, which offers lovely views of the beach houses along the walking path. Another great thing about Whitstable is its charming downtown. Continuing on our route along the Kentish coast, we continued to the town of Margate. Another spot that we enjoyed here in Margate was the Shell Grotto. The Shell Grotto consists of a series of ornate passageways that are lined with local seashells and eventually lead to a grand seashell chamber. No one really knows when it was made or why it's there. It really is quite a sight to see and it apparently consists of about 4.6 million seashells. It wasn't even discovered until 1835 and that was by accident. After Margate, we headed onward to Botany Bay, where you can find nice beaches, cliffs, and chalk stacks. This is a great place to slow down and enjoy your surroundings. Afterwards, we continued along the coast to the beautiful and somewhat comically named town of Sandwich. This town really is quite cute despite its kind of odd name, and it has a very charming medieval feel to the architecture. There are some nice cute restaurants to choose from as well, one of which we chose was a pizza place along the River Stour. After dinner, we headed to our final destination for the day, which was the White Cliffs of Dover. For one, we got there just around sunset, and there weren't too many people around, so it was really a beautiful time of day to see it for the first time. The views of the cliffs were absolutely amazing while walking along the paths by foot. After the sun went down, we called it a night and headed to our accommodation, which was located just outside of Dover. The next morning, we drove into the town of Dover, and fortunately, it was early enough that we were able to find pretty good street parking. We walked around the town a bit, slowly making our way up the hill to Dover Castle. We didn't know this at the time, but apparently Dover Castle is the largest largest castle in all of England. It has a long history, having been built all the way back in the 11th century. However, it is more often remembered today for its pivotal role in the Dunkirk evacuation during World War II. There are some great exhibits here that you should consider checking out, and Tyler goes into a lot more detail about these on our blog at lukeandtyler.com. I'll post a link to that blog post in the description. After the tour, you can get some really nice views from the top of the castle overlooking the outer harbor. After we were done at the castle, we decided that we had really not had enough time to fully explore the White Cliffs of Dover as much as we would have liked to, so decided to head back there and get a different perspective at a different time of day. We really did find both experiences of the White Cliffs of Dover 
one during sunset and one during full daylight were really more different than you might expect. And if you have the opportunity, would definitely consider visiting it more than once to get those different experiences. One part that's nice is walking along the path to the Langdon Bay Tunnel, which brings you closer to the shore. It was really so beautiful. Our final destination of the day was on our way back home to Maidstone, and it was a scenic drive through the Kent Downs area of natural beauty. This is a great area to enjoy some of the rolling hills, particularly we found at the Devil's Kneading Trough in Y Downs. Alright guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every Thursday, so stay tuned for more travel-related content. Hope to see you soon. Bye!